All right, guys, so we're here at the bow and arrow shop today. Um, I have shot my Elite for about seven years now, uh, and it's about time for a new bow. So we are going to go in here. We're going to try out the Bowtech Evashaki's Gen 2. Um, we've got 40 pound uh, limbs on it, so we're going to drop it down a little bit because we're still working on my uh, my draw because I've been out of commission for about a month, so I uh, kind of got to work back up, but we're going to try it out, see how it is, and see if I want to buy it. So we got the hybrid Hunter Pro, left-handed, we got a wrong-handed shooter, <laughs> and the tried and true black gold verdict Give me some time here. I'm good. with the slider so we can get get some pokes yeah yeah it's because it's pretty blue oh, yeah, that's right. do you feel now, like it feels lighter than mine kind of feel the difference. we're thinking about running a ham ski cool with that or do you want to do your same rest yes yes i do <laughs> no idea what that is but yeah sight we're wanting to go slide yes that we're yeah going? that for sure James, just unplug the volume. You know Dude, how to do that. I'm trying to grow your shop right now, man. Yeah, that's what it is. Enrique, text Mark and quit telling him, tell him to never serve this much serving again for center shot. You with that? This sweet Gen 2 Eva, awesome bow. We got the deadlock system. Uh, this year's they got rid of the the yoke system, so that's more a little more streamlined. Super easy to uh, tune. Love the deadlock system. They also got a little wider limb pocket, better hold. Uh, just a beautiful bow in general. Awesome bow for. A lady. If I had a lovely lady, I would definitely be getting her this bow. <laughs> it's super cool the tech on it, like James's bow, right? So James has all this cool tech, being able to move the cam back and forth, the wider platform which you covered. But now they give it to a girl, because right? Because it seems to me that ladies always get kind of gypped on the technology. Like here's a here's a pretty color bow, or here's a lighter bow. Well, Bowtech came out and said, no, we're going to put all our tech into a bow for the woman. Because there's a lot of gals that get out there and hunt their asses off. Yeah. I mean, shit. Dude. So this will definitely give them the weapon to do so. Definitely. Kill it. Definitely. Cool graphics, too. Yeah, it is. It's a nice looking bow. So I'm going to put it on, walk through a whole bunch of people that aren't wearing it. Uh, yeah, I was checking the drop away and it yeah, goes Yeah, and so with my other one, because I didn't have a slider, mm -hmm. my last one was pretty much used. Even dropped all the way down. You sure that's going to be enough, huh, Enrique? The, the amount of, yeah. What do we got? 40. All right. Um, no, that's actually good. pretty good. I can see a lot of space around it, though. Like, circle okay. to circle. We'll go test out it the outside, too. Yep, you go in there. Okay, cool. Right. How'd it feel? Great. It's so smooth. Okay, let's draw wow. again. I'm going to mark that Pete. Yeah, it's in a good spot. It's just uh, right here, there's a lot of space around it here. Okay. Oh, Mark we can, and the kisser. Yeah, we can bring that site back. How much space would you say? About that um, all the way around? Might like, be okay because it's dark inside. When you get high light, right, mm -hmm. then it's going to... What are we talking about there? Break it down for me. So from ring to ring, yep. in the... Uh, when we're kind of in dim light, we're gonna have a little bit more space around that, uh, the head of that site. And then in high light, that peep's gonna shrink up. All right, let her rip. Right. Yeah. Nice. How's the poundage? 
Good. Um, I guess maybe I'll refer to, to both of you here as far as like if I'm dropping, I feel like just a little bit, um, that I, maybe we should drop it a couple pounds so I can make sure to keep it up a lot more. Um, cause that's the whole purpose. Just I've got to practice that before I can move the poundage back up. Um, but like in general, so much lighter. Like right now, after you know being out of commission, I can't draw my bow back. Mm -hmm. I can draw this one back, no problem. Okay. Which is crazy. Maybe hit uh, two pounds less, two pounds. Yeah. There oh, you yeah. go. Guess we feel good. Mm -hmm. oh, that was a sweet bow. How's the setup looking? Awesome. Well, it's lining up good. Form looks great. Oh, I dropped this one. You can punch her property all the way up. We certainly get to those better. I don't feel that much. He has a reservation back, so he drives all the way up. Nice. Nice. Yeah, that thing is quiet. Yeah, it is. Pump station. Mm -hmm. Nice. Pump station, baby. All day. Yeah. Draw cycle looks so much better. The high elbow. Something in a hard snow or hard fog. Right on. Yeah, I did that in Key West right away on a vacation. It's got we left today with the Ivashaki Gen 2. Um, I can't explain how smooth, silent um, this bow is. Uh, it's just way more comfortable than my last bow. My last bow was great, uh, but it was older, and uh, with time it wears out. So this is um, night and day difference. But if you like the videos and you enjoy them, like, subscribe, and we will see you in the next video.